It's time to give your content a little boost. This is Color Correction 101. Welcome to the CapCut YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching our CapCut 101 tutorial series, hello, nice to meet you. And if it's not, welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get weekly tutorials and product updates on all things CapCut. This is the sixth video in an 11 part series on how to up your editing game. So if you haven't caught our previous tutorials, definitely go check those out. Today, we're getting into color correction. This is one of the most useful tools in editing because it makes sure that your content is visually pleasing and easy to watch for the viewer. There's a lot to get into here. So let's go ahead and get started and let's open the desktop app. All of the tools that you need to color correct are gonna be in the adjustments tab on the left. You can also make adjustments by clicking on a clip in your timeline and then moving over to the right and going into the adjustments menu. The first section that opens under adjustments is customized. This is where you can change the colors in your video. Let's go ahead and drag this down to the timeline. Click into the adjustment that you just added and then on the right side, the basic tab will open. As the name would suggest, this is where you can on a very simplified level adjust the colors in your video. Auto adjust is a CapCut Pro feature that automatically color corrects. You can see here that my example video was kind of on the darker side, so auto adjust just brightens it up a little bit. You can also change the strength of your auto adjust by moving the slider. Next, you'll see the LUT section. A LUT is basically a preset that's gonna alter the colors of your video. You'll need to upload these in advance in order for them to show up here, so I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Now, before we get into the adjustment sliders, decide if you want skin tone protection to be turned on or off. If it's on, it'll ensure that your skin looks very naturally toned despite any adjustments that you make with the sliders. Personally, for my content, I usually keep this turned on, but it's totally up to you and what kind of vibe you're going for. And when you're ready, you can start experimenting with the sliders in the adjustment section until you're happy with your video. The temp slider will make your video cooler, so a little bit more blue, or warmer, which is more yellow. The hue slider will make your video more green or more pink. And the saturation slider will take your video from black and white to very, very vivid. Once you're satisfied with the color, let's move on to lightness. The brightness slider is pretty obvious. This is gonna make your video dimmer or brighter. The contrast slider is going to increase the difference between the darker colors in your video and the lighter ones. I'm not gonna lie, I do have a tendency to go a little bit overboard with this one. Highlight will make the highlights of your video so it's lighter parts, lighter or darker. Shadow does the same thing, but with the darker colors in your video. And illumination is kind of similar to brightness. If you drag the slider to the left, it's gonna dim your video, but bring up the intensity of your skin tone. And if you drag it to the right, your video is going to get really bright and you're going to lose a lot of that contrast. Sharpen's going to enhance the definition of all of the edges in your video. Sometimes when your video is a little lower quality or maybe a little blurry, sharpening it a little bit can really help the look. Personally though, I feel like this looks best when you keep it really subtle. Particles are almost like little fuzzies. This slider can make your video almost look staticky. Fade will make your video look paler. And if you move the vignette slider to the left, it's gonna add a white dream-like border to your video. And if you move it to the right, that border is gonna turn black. Whatever adjustments you make here can be added to your brand kit and you can use them in future videos. Moving right along to the HSL tab. HSL stands for hue, saturation, and lightness. Here, you can single out specific colors in your video and adjust them. So let's say you wanna bring down the saturation of all the greens in your video to give your hiking vlog that artistic touch. Click on the green circle here and when I move this slider you'll see that only the greens in my video are changing. Adjusting colors individually is a great way to get more control over your video's look. It's more targeted than the adjustment sliders so it can be very useful. If you want to get even more granular let's head over to the curves tab. I won't play this tab looks a little scary but I promise you it's a lot easier than it may seem. This diagonal line represents the range of these elements in your video. This one is the total range of brightness and then you have red, green, and blue. The middle of each of these is gonna be your mid-tone values. So not super bright, not super dark, just standard. And this applies to the colors too. This will take a little experimentation to figure out what adjustments you wanna make, but when you drag your mouse along this diagonal line, you'll see the option to add a beat. A beat is like an anchor point for your adjustment. So if I add a beat and then create a little curve, the appearance of my video changes. And you can get really precise here by adding multiple beats. So to give you an example, let's say I wanted to increase the contrast in my video Video by bringing up the brightness of my highlights and darkening my shadows. I'm gonna add a beat a bit under three fourths of the way down on that diagonal line to target those darker colors. And I'm gonna add another beat on the other side for my highlights. When I move the beat at the top upward, it's gonna target those lighter colors, those light grays, the whites. When I move the beat at the bottom downward, it targets those blacks and grays and makes everything darker. 
This creates a very specific kind of contrast that is exactly to my liking. The color curves below work in the same way. See how adding a beat towards the top of the line and then dragging it upward doesn't affect the darker colors in my clothes? If I wanted to bring out the red in those darker colors, I would have to add a beat to the bottom and then drag it upward to target those specifically. If you want to get specific, curves are a great way to experiment with the look and feel of your video. You have a lot of control here. Next, I want to show you the color wheel. This is a feature that is exclusive to CapCut Pro. First, you want to choose if you want to work with primary wheels or log. To keep it super simple, working with primaries is going to allow you to adjust the saturation and brightness of your videos, but it's going to be specifically within the shadows, middle gray, and tint. You can also play around with the offset wheel and this is gonna change the look of your entire image. Working in log also lets you adjust the saturation and the brightness, but this time it's within the highlights, shadows, and middle tones. To me, this feels a lot more specific than working with primary wheels because you can target one particular tonal area. With primary wheels, your tonal ranges are overlapping so you can't get as granular. That being said, I found that for the most part, for my social content, using the primary wheels is more than adequate. So working with these color wheels is very similar to curves, except instead of working with a diagonal line, you're working with a little circle. I can move the dot in the middle of the circle towards a specific color similar to the HSL tab. So you'll see, for example, when I move the dot in my shadow circle up towards the red, it brings out the red in the darker colors in my video. From there, I can adjust the left side of the circle to change the saturation, and the right side of the circle changes the brightness. Like I said, if you're going for a very specific, unique look in your video, you and the color wheels are gonna be besties. So now you know the ins and outs of making your own custom adjustment, let's head back to the left and look at presets. Here you can see any color adjustments that you've saved to your brand kit. So no need to mess around with the curves or change your color wheels for a second time, you can save everything here and reference it later. And one last thing, remember when I said that you can upload your own pre-made filter? Let me show you where to do that. You just head on down to the LUT section here and you can upload it. Okay, now you know everything that's necessary to color correct your videos to perfection. How are we feeling? Let us know how you like to color correct in the comments. Are we going warmer? Are we cooler? What's the vibe? Are you the type of person that just uses the adjustment sliders? Or are you going to the curves? Also, definitely let us know what other tutorials you'd like to see. And with that, I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Ready to unleash your inner editing wizard? Click on the next video and let the magic continue.